How's it going guys? Welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2. We're doing the last the first challenge, uh, so basically this video is going up I think right before the actual Chicago race. Uh, well, maybe a couple hours before, so uh, let me know who you think is going to win, what's going to happen in the first playoff race. Um, we're going to go to Chicago. We're going to be Jimmy Johnson, um, because a lot of people really think that uh, he can really just pick up the pace out of nowhere, and I don't really see how that's going to happen, but... Um, I don't think I've done a Last of Us challenge with Jimmy Johnson yet, so we're going to be Jimmy. Uh, I'll just drive the Lowe's uh, salute to the Heroes car because that is a pretty cool car in my opinion. I think all these are pretty cool, so um, we'll drive that. We're going to go to Chicago. We're not going to give ourselves that much time. We're only going to give us 11 laps to do it, and uh, you'll guys see why once the, the race actually starts. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you think is going to happen in the race. Comment down below. Um, I'd like to take this time to also thank you guys for 10,000 subs. Uh, I know we've actually cleared that a little bit now. We're like around 10.3, but um, I'm grateful for every, every single one of you guys. You guys have been awesome, uh, and I don't really, I didn't know how uh, when I started this a year ago that um, the NASCAR community would just kind of bring me up like this this uh, this quickly. So I want to thank you guys. That was just awesome to see 10,000 subs, and we'll keep going, um, keep building the community up. I will get back to F1 as well. I know that some of you that want the F1 career back, um, I just haven't had time to do it. F1, the thing about F1 is it takes a lot of time. It is, you can't just play it right away and be fast. Um, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of practice. Uh, and, you know, it takes a lot of editing as well. So haven't been able to get to that. I'll try to get to that as soon as I can. Um, so there's Jimmy Johnson. You can see him with his beard and everything. Uh, I don't think the driver models are that bad in this game, but... Um, they do need a little bit of work, to be honest, uh, but hey, at least they're in there. Um, and I will be making a NASCAR Heat 2 post-race review as well, so I know some people, like in this instance, there's no real pre-race, uh, there's no pre-race introduction, there's nothing like that. Um, so I'll definitely be noticing all that stuff. Don't worry about that. Uh, I'll make a, a review. It'll be impartial. Don't worry. I, I know uh, 704 Games play, made me play the game, but uh, I'll give an impartial review, pros and cons. So for those of you that, that haven't bought the game yet and kind of just watching my videos and wondering, should I get it? Uh, I'll try to answer that question for you as best as I can uh, by giving you the feedback that I have uh, encountered throughout the game. Um, there's a lot of pros. There's a lot of things that are improved. Um, but there are some cons as well, so I'll try to hit on both of those. Don't know when that's going to be out, though. It's going to take me some time to actually make that. So let's go to the race, and let's see how we could do. Green flag is out, um, and we only have 11 laps to do this. So we gotta have to make, we're going to have to make quick work of this. Um, but you'll see that the difficulty at the mile and a half, uh, some of them are just not as high as they should be. Um, so we'll be able to fly past these guys pretty quickly, I think. Um, but let's see what we could do. We're going to try the high side here a little bit. Let's pull up the leaderboard. Um, so we have Timmy Hill in front of us, or he's actually below us. Uh, DJ Kennington in front of us. We're going to go to the high side here. And we are going to run this top lane. Now this is a little bit too high. I had to be careful there not to hit the wall. Um, but we're going to really run this top lane and try to pass as many of these guys as we can. Um, and then probably migrate down to the bottom a little bit later. But as long as this top lane works, we're going to go here. So Reed Sorensen's going to come up a little bit. We're going to be patient. Make a little bit of contact there, get back on the throttle. Hasn't been the smoothest start to this race yet. Um, now Paul Menard, he's gonna, looks like Menard's going to give us room. Oh, I didn't want to hit the wall. Uh, we're going to just go right there, side draft him a little bit, give him a little bit of contact, and now we're in the wall. That's not what I wanted, but we were able to get off of it, actually, which is pretty nice. All right, so back up to the top side, three wide. Let's try to cut down to the bottom here. Boom, there we go. Make up a couple spots here. Going to go to the bottom of Corey LaJoy. Oh, that's contact. Oh, boy. On the apron. Oh, boy. And we save it. Well, this has definitely not been that smooth of a start of the race, so that is my fault. Uh, let's keep going. It's been pretty exciting, though. I mean, damn, I should have wrecked. I, I really should have wrecked there. NASCAR Heat Evolution, I would have wrecked. But uh, I guess in this game, like I said, there's more forgiveness, which is great. Um, able to save the car a little bit. Eric Jones checks up a little bit. We're going to go to the high side. We are in P27, um, so we're doing all right, but should be a little bit further up. As the field starts to spread out, uh, we'll have more room to kind of maneuver. Danica Patrick in 23rd, she's sliding up a little bit, but we're going to pass her on the high side. Uh, and then Ryan Blaney in 22nd, a little bit far back for him. Um, but we're going to try and get him as well as he goes below the 38 of uh, David Reagan. We're going to go three wide on these guys, make the pass. Do we have any damage? No, we don't. Uh, no. Do we have damage now? No, we don't. Okay, good. Lap five, we have seven laps to go, we're in P23. Let's focus here, back to the high side. 
There's our teammate Chase Elliott. We're going to try to get to the outside of him before he can clear the corner. And he gives us room. Thank you, Chase. All right, we're going to get this. Let's try to enter this corner a little bit lower here. There we go. Got a nice run through three and four. We're going to have a hell of a run here coming off the top side. Going to go after Clint Boyer. Let's go on the bottom. Going to pass him here. Let's see if we can clear him before we get in turn one. We can't, so got to be careful. He's right there. Now Earnhardt Jr. and Jamie Mack are a little... Oh, Kyle... Is that Kyle Busch? That is Kyle Busch who's going a little bit all over the place. We're going to slide up to the high side. Can't really do anything. Uh, we're going to... No, we're going to stay up high. Let's stay up high because we can get a nice run through three and four. So we're going to stay up high. And we should be able to make the pass on Jamie Mack. Get the draft of Kyle Busch. Try to side draft Earnhardt. Got to pull him back a little bit. Oh, I did not enter one and two that well. Ah, this is, I'm, I keep messing up. I keep messing up. This is bad. All right, only five laps to go. We really got to hurry up here. So Kyle Busch, let's get you. We're going to go to the bottom here. Oh, Denny Hamlin's right in the way, so I can't really go anywhere. Oh, boy, where are we going? Where are we going? All right, we're going to go here. Four laps to go. We do not have a lot of time. Sorry, Stenhouse. Got to move you out of the way. All right, Newman, you got to go, boy. You got to go. Where are you going? You're going to go to the bottom? All right, we're going to the middle. Suarez, let's get your draft here. Got to execute three and four. Oh, thank God Suarez went down, or else I would have nailed him straight in the back. That was perfect. All right, how many laps do we have left? We have three laps to go. 1.6 seconds. I believe we can catch him. Who's in front of us? Keselowski, Kurt Busch. Let's go run him down. And we're going to get a great run here. Let's not hit the apron. Going to get a great run. There we go. That's what we needed. Outside of Keselowski. We're going to go to the outside of Kurt Busch. Not worth it to go to the bottom. And we're going to pass him. We're going to have two laps to catch those two guys. We're going to have Kyle Larson and Martin Truex Jr. Well, yeah, that's realistic. Larson and Martin Truex Jr. 1 and 2. Uh, while we're still trying to pass Kurt Busch. We're in the wall a little bit, but we are able to pass Kurt. There we go. Now we have a, basically a lap and a half to go, and we have to run down Truex and Larson. Let's see if we can go get him. Oh, they're going side by side. We're definitely going to get him. This is, this is why I only gave myself 11 laps, because uh, it is a little bit too easy at Chicagoland, but... White flag is out. We're going to go to the top side, take it three wide, and see if we can pass them both on the high side. If Jimmy could actually do this in real life, I would probably delete my YouTube channel because I'd never see it happening. Um, but we pass him. We're going to pass Larson, pass both of the, the fastest guys in the sport right now. Well, actually, Kyle Busch is probably a little bit faster than Larson at the moment. Um, that's because of the car he's in. I think if you put Larson in a Joe Gibbs car right now, damn. <laughs> uh, we're going to win. This is our first last first challenge. We're going to complete the challenge. Is the Mexican music going to play? Yes, it will. Woo! All right. I actually thought I was going to win that for a second, but we were able to win it. 105 speed rating. That is uh, one of the cons I have with the game is that the, the, the difficulty at tracks is a little bit too inconsistent. So, like Chicagoland and 11 laps, hardest difficulty. I can go ran up through the field, um, and that's that. But you go to a place... Uh, you just go somewhere else. I know Kentucky, uh, you can't do that. Um, Kentucky is a little bit more... Kentucky, I think, is my favorite track on the game. Um, a little bit more difficult. Can't really pass everyone, like, right away. Um, I couldn't even actually get the first. I was kind of stuck around the 6th to 5th area. Um, so that gives good racing. But uh, I don't know. I just don't really see... Uh, I think maybe it fixed the consistency a little bit. But, yeah, guys, that's that for this one. Guys, if you like the video, make sure to like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Again, comment down below. Let me know what you think is going to happen in the race. I think this video is going up somewhere... Uh, Sunday morning to early Sunday afternoon before the race. Um, and yeah, so guys, enjoy the race, and I'll see you guys later. Hope you have a fantastic day, and thanks for the support, like I said. And uh, peace out. I can't change Even if I try Even if I wanted to And I can't change Even if I try My love, my love, my love, she keeps me warm